The para-veterinary official in the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Forestry, Wazapo Maendo, says no cases of food and mouth disease were thus far reported in the Kunene region. Maendo told Nampa on Saturday that there were a few suspicious cases in the region. However, no confirmed case was reported after the examination. He said the ministry launched a community awareness campaign that started in May after the disease was reported in Oshikoro region. An outbreak of food and mouth disease was detected at the Okango village in the Okangolo constituency of the Oshikoro region in May this year. Mayendo said the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Forestry in the Kunene region has put up a restriction on the movement of livestock out of and into the region in order to prevent the disease. We don't want to transport or to move animals from uh, a free area or the area under, under the surveillance into the inferior zones. So like now to move the animal from here into Omsati or those other regions, it might uh, be a risk. Like uh, you might uh, take your animals there and they can get uh, um, a disease from that side. Or to take the animal from the, from the other regions into these regions, they, uh, there might be uh, a case that maybe they are infected and they can bring the virus to our area. So right now, if you want to move due to drought and so, the best you can do is to get the headman permit first because he is the one to witness that those animals are yours. Then from there, you can go get the permission again from that headman of the other area where you're going who can also allow you that you, uh, they can accommodate you with a number of animals that you have. At least to, uh, to stop the issue of we are, the headman here allow you to move, then you go there, then those ones did not allow you, then you've been uh, searching for grazing. And by so doing, you can spread the disease, or you might get the disease from those other areas. Mayendo said food and mouth disease is not a zoonotic disease that can be passed between animals and humans, but it only affects cloven hoofed animals such as goats, sheep and cattle, but not horse or pig.